In 2004, the heroic twin rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, bounced down and drove off, ready to roam the Red Planet. Opportunity had come to rest in a small crater at a spot called Niridiani Planum, and it didn't have far to travel. For here, in plain view, on the crater wall right before it, was exposed bedrock, the first ever seen on Mars. Not far away, Opportunity found layered rocks on the face of a cliff. On Earth, rocks like these typically form in sedimentary layers at the bottom of ancient oceans. And at every turn, Opportunity rolled across tiny, smooth, almost perfectly round pellets, called blueberries because they appear dark bluish brown against Mars' rust-colored surface. Initially thought to be volcanic in origin, these blueberries proved to be iron-rich spherules of exactly the type formed within cavities at the bottom of an ocean. And the rovers had another trick up their mechanical sleeves. They could drill into the rock itself, brush it clean, and nuzzle a spectrometer right up to the virgin minerals. They found that up to 40% of the rocks were sulfate salt, a tracer for standing water, and that wasn't the only evidence. Spirit's broken wheel dragging behind it exposed soils saturated in salt. Clearly, these rocks had formed in water, but how long ago? And if you needed to find water on Mars right now, where would you look? One answer, the North Pole. From orbit, it seemed to be covered in frozen carbon dioxide, what we call dry ice. But might water exist below the surface? Enter Mars Phoenix, a lander that arrived near the North Pole in early 2008. Phoenix used rockets, not airbags, to touch down in what appears to be the floor of an ancient ocean. The lander's descent thrusters blew away the top layer of soil, and Phoenix snapped some pictures. It sure looked like ice. The mission's managers instructed the robot to conduct a simple experiment. Reach out, dig a trench, then watch what happens. As expected, clumps of white stuff appeared. A couple of days later, it was gone. Vaporized. That means it can't be salt. Or frozen carbon dioxide, which is stable in the cold, dry temperatures of the Martian Pole. So it had to be water. The first ever directly seen on Mars. In fact, Phoenix probably saw droplets of liquid, salty water form and merge on its legs. And there are other indications that the North Pole was actually warm enough in the recent past for water to become liquid. Beginning in November of 2006, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter flew over the pole, sending out radar pulses to peer beneath the surface. These data have revealed that the ice cap, just over a mile thick, formed in a succession of layers as the climate alternated between warm and cold. Martian mood swings like this happen because the planet's spin is not stabilized by a massive moon like that of Earth. Mars can really wobble, with one pole tilting toward the sun for long periods. Whatever waters here now is tiny compared to what once was. There's a growing body of evidence that early in its history, Mars was on track to become positively Earth-like. But something went horribly wrong. 